Okay, he just said it. We're at the Serbia, right? Yes. Now, where, <laughs> David, where's the Serbia? It's in Downers Grove, Illinois. Now, hey, hey, real quick, David, you guys are known at Transworld because you build uh, escape mobile shows, escape yes. rooms. What's yeah. the name of that company? Legendary Escape Games. Now, you own escape rooms around? Yes, Plainfield, Illinois. How many escape rooms do you have there? Six. Six? Yeah. How's that business good, doing? Good. So, you have Disturbia and you guys have Basement of the Dead, yes, right? Yes. Which one does better? They both do great. They both do great? Yes, yeah. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I love them both. They're both my, uh, they're both my babies. Is so. this a permanent installation? Yes. Like you rent it year round? Yep, yep. We don't take nothing down. How many square feet is it? 12,000. 12,000? Yeah, yeah. Now, I happen to notice you got this outdoor queue line, a DJ, and it's super loud. Does anybody ever complain about the loud? Oh, well, maybe, maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> hey, now, are you looking forward to going to Transworld this year? 100%. Love Transworld. And you, what are you bringing? More escape rooms? Yes. Yeah. What was your most popular mobile escape room that you built last year? Because Well, we did the ice cream truck. That, that was, was awesome. incredible. Yeah. How many of those did you sell? You know, that was a one-off. Only one of those. So. You only sold one. Yeah, I only did, that was a one-off, though. Yeah. yeah. It reminded me of that video game, Twisted Metal. It was, yeah, yeah. All right, do you have anything that you're going to do at Transworld this year that's real exciting? I'm, I'm not sure yet. It's under the wraps. I can't. Oh, you can't say. Hey, are you shocked that I'm here? No. Because <laughs> how many times have I tried to come? Multiple times. And, and it just never works. Never works, yeah. But we're here. We're here at Disturbia, which is, uh, and you'll see. They got a step and repeat. One's for Basement of the Dead and Disturbia. And all right, so can we go in? You're going to come with us? Oh, I'm about you guys go by yourself. All right, Matt, are we the last customers? We're the last customers, yeah. For the whole year? Oh, no, we're open next Saturday. You're open next weekend? Yes. You savage. I'm crazy, yeah. Larry, check this out. Woo! They're falling out. <laughs> All right, we're going through Disturbia. Everybody up against the wall. And then you can see the rules up there. Yeah. We're ready to have some fun. Ready to have some fun? Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I am the soul leader. You can master to the realm of Disturbia. You are here as the leader's ancient portal. Now, you must prove your work to the old gods and demons. We have so much to show you. Stay true and on the path, or your soul will be lost to destroy you forever. <laughs> Woo! 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 Woo!
Ether. They did that in Basement of the Dead, too. Yeah. Where we had to crawl underneath yeah. the actor.
Yeah, it's a, it's an, it's an air cleaner. It's a clean out thing. merchandise store let's see what in the heck is this restrooms come check some okay <laughs> look at the bathroom okay now this is the coolest bathroom men's bathroom I have ever seen in my entire life check this out folks there's Beetlejuice a Beetlejuice themed men's bathroom now I've seen it all And that's nice that they have real bathrooms. Now, this is what we should do. One more scares at the end. We can say the end and one more scares. Stand to our code now and save up to 15. These come varies by date. 
they scan the, the thing for the discount. Oh, you mean like go again? No, to go to their, their sister store, their sister line. Yeah, oh, I see. Yeah. I don't want to go home. Hey, tell me, is your bathroom themed? Is it themed? Yeah, it's Beetlejuice. What is yours themed? Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah. They're both themed to Beetlejuice. Let's take a look over here at the retail store. We got Disturbia. We got sodas, popcorn, nachos. All right, we're back. We're out. Awesome. How was it? That was great. It just seemed like it was never going to end. That's a good thing. Right? Okay, take a guess what my favorite scene was in the whole place. By the ghost room? The ghost room. That's the newest one. That, you just built that yeah. this year? Uh, all of the uh, motor, those are all motorized? Yeah. Uh, who'd you buy those from? I, got, I had those custom made by uh, Beastcraft. Beastcraft? Yeah. yeah, that was really good. I like that. What's your favorite scene in there? Yeah, the ghost room. The ghost room? Now, let me ask you a question, because I got thrown for a loop. How did the aliens fit in? That was just, it really doesn't. <laughs> um, that was one of those, those buys I did. I was like, ah, but now I have to deal with it, so. Uh, how many air compressors do you have? I got one giant one in the back. One so, giant one in the back? Yeah. What line hose do you have running through there to feed it Inch all? Inch and a half. Inch and a half? Yeah. Awesome. Inch and a half, and then like, what do you you take down all of this? I'm assuming. Well, tonight we are. We usually this stays up, but you, it's at the end of the season, so we're taking it all. Down. I mean, like your facade over there. Does that come off? No, that stays that stays up all year long. All year long. Yeah. Okay. So which one does better, this one or Basement of the Dead? I'm not too sure. They're both. They both do great. They're both about the same. Yeah. yeah. And you work over here mostly. Yeah, I go. I, I'm over here. And my brother Jason's over at Basement. So how long have you uh, had this on? This is our fourth year here. So you built it from scratch? No, we bought it from a, a previous owner, but we added up tons of animatronics and all that type of stuff. And you said it's only 14,000 square feet? 12,000. 12,000, man, it seems like it's twice that long. It seems way, way, way longer. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That was amazing. So you know he builds escape rooms. Oh yeah. What what themes? Uh, where is your escape rooms at? Plainfield. Plainfield. Yeah. And that's open year round. Yeah. How's uh the escape room business doing for it's you? Going good over there. Yeah. It's going well, good. Uh, do you have mostly horror themed no, rooms? No, uh, basement does. Oh, but our Plainfield location's more. It's pirate, clown, casino, wizard, that type of stuff. Yeah. How many square feet is your facility? Over there, I think it's forty eight. 4,800 square feet? Yeah, 4, wow. Well, what's doing better for you now? Your haunted house or your escape rooms? Oh, they're, that's, that's, they're both different entities. You know? I mean, like, financially, which one's doing better? I, I do, I, I, it's, it's like, my escape tell. rooms passed up the haunted house. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, oh. I think they're both doing well. You know? so. Wow. Hi, let me ask you a question. When Transworld used to be in Chicago at the Rosemont, there was no haunts here. Like well, now there's there was yeah, there was essentially so the one. It was now, yeah. what was it called? Uh, well, Basement of Dead was we did Basement of Dead was open back in the day, and it was Statesville. Pretty much it was Statesville and Basement of Dead. Pretty much. I'm talking about like when it was at Rosemont. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, because like the only haunt that was ever toured was uh, for the longest time. Then what was that Basement haunt called? Like, Dream Reapers. Re Dream Reapers. Yeah. yeah. And so now, like, the market has just exploded, yeah. Yeah. right? Oh, it's crazy. It, does it hurt your business at all that there's so many? I, I don't, I mean, we are our best year already, so. Yeah. This year, so, I, I mean, I don't think so. As long as they're all good, people want to keep going to them, you know? So. Well, what is your uh, best form of advertising to reach people in Chicago? Well, I would say probably, I, I don't know, Facebook. Facebook? Or, yeah. Man, and how do you uh, how do they reach your haunted house? Like, what is your website? Disturbia, haunted house, Disturbia. Haunted house, Disturbia. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was absolutely great, was and I look forward to seeing you at Transworld. What did you think, Patty? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing, and and those actors. You're in Hell Week, right? You've been open. Yeah, we've been, we, we've been open since Tuesday. Yeah. 
and they're that high energy. <laughs> now, one of the things I notice about this haunt and Basement of the Dead is you don't use a lot of masks. No, I mean, we have, I have tons of masks in there. But um, we say if the actors get here a little bit earlier, they can do, we use a lot of makeup. We got, here we have uh, five makeup artists. So we got a pretty good makeup team. Yeah. So we can crank them out. Yeah. How many actors did you have in there? Probably today, usually on a good days, 80. Probably today, about around 60, I bet. You had 60 actors yeah, in there? Holy 60, cow. Yeah. So you run between 60 and 80. Yeah. Yeah, a night. How fast do you put them in when on your busy nights? Well, it all depends on busy nights. We try to we try to do every forty-five seconds. Yeah. How many do you put in every forty-five seconds? Yeah, busy night, maybe like eight. To eight 10. to ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it it probably helps to have that many actors. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow! This is a great location. You got a big yeah, parking yeah, lot. Parking you got a bathroom. Lot. You got it all. Yeah. yeah. Highways are right in the back of us, so that's pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. You're right off yeah. the highway. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks for uh, yeah, so giving time. us the Thank tour you. or letting us walk through. It's not the same type of video that I normally do because I like to walk through with the owner, you know, yeah, like when it. it's open. But like, at least I got to interview, and I got to interview your brother just a tad, and he kept saying, uh, "If you're gonna go to Disturbia, you better leave now." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. uh, can I just ask you one more question? Yeah. And he would, his answer would be, I would say, like, for example. How do you reach, like, what is the URL of uh, Basement of the Dead? And he would say, if you want to get to Disturbia, you better leave now. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I would say, hey, can I give you a million dollars? If you want to reach Disturbia, you better leave yeah. now. Yeah. That was pretty we made much. It, though. We made it, though. We made it. Well, it was good advice oh, because we might not have made it. Well, he texts me. I'm like, well, you better hurry up, you know, but you got here. We made it just in time. Yeah, we did. Do an 80 on the Now, let me ask you a question. Like, how many haunted houses actually are there in Chicago? You have Hell's Gate. You have 13th floor. You have uh, Disturbia. Yeah. You have Midnight Rain, Rain of Terror. Midnight Terror. Midnight, Midnight Terror. Massacre. Massacre. And, uh, I mean, there's just a lot. There's so many of them, but they're all good. They're all great. I see about this. It's not like a. It's not really a bad one. You know, they're all they're all pretty scary. They're all really detailed well. So that's why it doesn't really hurt the market because I think everyone wants. If they leave a haunted house and have a good time, they, they're going to want to go to another one. But it's a so, big market, too. It is a big market. It's like, how many people live around, like, within 75 miles of Chicago now? It's like 6 million? Yeah, I don't know. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have anything close to that. No. No. So what's, uh, what, you guys open one more weekend. One more weekend, then it's Christmas time. And then you do Christmas. How many nights do you do Christmas? Two. 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 St. Paddy's Day too. You open for St. Paddy's? Yeah. What do you call that event? Twisted Elves. No, no, that's uh, uh, St. Paddy's Day event. Does that do good? Yeah, dude, that's it's really good. Then uh, we do... You know, John Eslitz always does yeah. St. Paddy's Day too. Then we do what Easter. Are you, <laughs> you do Easter. Yeah, do Easter. Are you a savage or what? what? We do Easter, <laughs> then we do a Midnight Summer Screams thing. Now let me ask you a question. When you do Easter, like what do you do? Do you do anything different inside? Nah, this is more audio and a lot of people are just evil rabbits. How many people will come to an Easter haunt? On a, on a, on a Friday, Saturday, you know, five to six hundred. Okay. Night. What's your best uh, special event? Is it Krampus? Do you do Valentine's? Uh, I do Valentine's. Which one does better? I'm assuming one of those two are the best. I would say Christmas does the best, I'm guessing. I would yeah. say Valentine's does Valentine's a little bit better for us. Right? But they all, when, we, when we host them, we always we always do really well. So I, I would. It's hard to pick one. Do you do halfway to Halloween? No, we, but we do this, we do a summer event, but we do we don't midnight do summer screen. Yeah. So do you have air conditioning in there? Yes. So you can operate in the summer. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Is this your mini me? So this is one of my mini me's. <laughs> we have another one. Did you work in there tonight? No, he's a slider. He, Woo! Slide nice. You know, I'll tell you a funny story, Dave. Uh, one time uh, at Creepy World, my all my my kids were like nine, and he was on a baseball team. The whole baseball team to come, they came to work, and they were running around in the corn maze, scaring people. And I was just like filming it. I thought it was hilarious. And the customer said, uh, "Are you? Uh, do you work here?" And I said, "Yes." And they said, uh, "I don't think this is. Uh, you know, this is legal." You have a bunch of little kids yeah. working in here. And you know what I said to them? I leaned in and I said, they're the children of the corn. 
<laughs> and he said, ah, I get it. And, and he walked away. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? Because it was in a corn maze. Yeah. And I just said, they're the children yeah, of the corn. Yeah. And he just was that okay? And he well, left. Time somebody said the same thing to one of the police officers. And the police officer said, it was just our kids. And the police officer said, Honey, those are the owner's kids. They can't keep them out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, and it, to be honest, guys, both my boys love it here. They work here every night? Oh, not every night. Not on school yeah, nights. Yeah. But uh, in, in busy Saturdays, I don't bring them. But uh, they have off school tomorrow, so that's why they're here tonight. We would still bring them on the busy yeah. Saturdays, but at a certain hour. You yeah, radio, who's got eyes on Riley and saying, River? It, it Send too, them to the chicken booth. Yeah, it gets too crazy <laughs> here. And, and it's like, you don't. You know what I used to I do with my kids? Yeah. Room, so. Riley. He used to go through with a radio when he was like 10. Yeah, and he would say, Dad, there's so and so animation, don't worry. Dad, there's somebody sleeping on the floor. Dad, this actor's <laughs> missing. Dad, and they hated him because he would walk through and he would come back and he would say, Dad, this is everything that's not working. <laughs> and then uh, and I would get on the radio and they said, Look, we know Riley just came through. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I trust my son. I trust yeah, my uh, son. Yeah. Do you walk through all night long? But you, he really doesn't go through. What? He, he works the front room sometimes. Yeah. He works the front room. All right, hey, well, thanks a lot, David. Yeah. We look yeah. forward to seeing well, you at Trans World. And what inspired you to like make the bathrooms Beetlejuice? You know, it was kind of weird. It's because it wasn't the movie. I mean, I, I love the old movie, but I did them I think this three years ago, and the new movie came nice. out and stuff. I'm like, wow, this is. Where did you? Oh, where did you get your Beetlejuices in there? Oh, those those are from Spirit. Oh yeah, those, yeah, those guys that talk. Yeah, yeah that was, I couldn't find any good ones. Yeah, so that was they're pretty decent. They're decent. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah, it looks like you have a lot of animations in there. How many yeah. do you have exactly? I, I just, have you ever counted them? No, I didn't. I should. But I have to say, it your has air to be over hundred. Are better than any air cannons I think I've ever oh, yeah? heard or felt. You yeah. know what I mean? And the placement of them, both here and basement. I, in fact, I have to say, Basement of the Dead had the best placement of air cannons I've yep. ever seen. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, I made um, a comment that you know I wore shorts, so like half my skin has been removed from my leg. Yeah, because you're getting blown. Home. Yeah, it was, <laughs> my it was crazy. Like, <laughs> hey, well, thanks a lot, David, okay, and we'll see you at Transworld, okay. and you'll be in the escape room section. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Legendary so escapes. We'll be there. Yep. Do you sell a lot of those things? Yeah. Trans the World, haunts. Transworld, we do. We, we do the best at Transworld shows. Now let me ask you a question. You make mobile escape rooms, yeah. yet I don't see one here. You know what? We don't have we don't have one in stock. That's they're hard. We order two, but you know it's yeah. hard to keep them in stock. Every time we every time we make one, we pretty much sell it. So. All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, well, thanks a lot, David. Well, thank and you. Uh, thanks a lot. And it was nice to meet you, little man. <laughs> All right. All right, well, All right, thanks we'll a lot, and we'll see you later, Patty. Yeah. And uh, do you have Instagram? No, I don't. You don't have Instagram? No, don't. What the heck? I'm not tech savvy. Tech All right. <laughs> hey, will you take it easy, my All man? Thanks, later. All right, see you later. Thank you so much. That was fun. Okay, so we're walking away from Disturbia. We were here in Chicago. We went through Basement of the Dead. We went through Disturbia. We went through Hell's Gate, but we didn't film it. We've already got a video of it online. So I don't know how many haunted houses we went to this Halloween, but it was quite a few. And we plan on visiting some in the winter because we plan on doing a little bit of traveling. We're going to Tennessee. So uh, if you have a haunted house in Tennessee, let us know. Uh, we're gonna be in Orlando for IAPA. And if you uh, have a haunt somewhere in Florida, near Orlando, let us know, we'll stop by. But we are gonna be driving from St. Louis to Gatlinburg for a show that we're gonna go to. And I might also be in San Antonio trying to uh, finish the insulation on a mini golf that we're doing. That's gonna be really cool. Sorry, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. And so um, <coughs> this winter, uh, we do plan on renovating the darkness. My goal is to get TerraVision sold and once I get it sold, uh, once I get it sold, hopefully we can uh, replace it. And it's been a lot of fun visiting haunted houses. I can tell you right now, I don't remember the last time I visited a haunted house with actors. I mean, it's been so long. And even the tours we've been doing have been with no actors. And so this is the first time uh, 
in a long time that I've been through a haunted house with actors and it's so much different experience so we thought we would do some videos where there was actors and uh, yeah I'm glad we did it and so now we're gonna get back in our car we're gonna go back to St. Louis we have uh, a gift show that we're gonna film uh, we're gonna do the Halloween party show uh, we're gonna watch the election on Tuesday night and uh, we're gonna be going to IAPA and then after that it's gonna be all about renovating the darkness and trying to get it done in time for Transworld. Until then, I want to thank Basement of the Dead, Disturbia, uh, for letting us like film it and show you what these two uh, haunted houses located in Chicago are all about. And uh, so you can see they're in a really nice plaza. There's a, stores all over the place, including a Hooters. You can't complain about that. I love Hooters. And uh, and that's all she wrote. Until next time, people. Happy Halloween, pleasant screams, and good night.